Okay, um, I got the fuel tank cleaned up, and it actually looks pretty good. Lo and behold, there's actually a, a recycle label on here, identifying it as HDPE. So that is awesome. It's high-density polyethylene. I can fix that. And the cap seems to be in great shape. Um, so you can still see the... Uh, it's still not dry inside, even though I washed this like two days ago, but you can see the cracks here. Uh, they're all kind of centered around this injection uh, point, injection mold point. So that's all going to have to be, these are all future cracks if they're not cracks already. And that's definitely a crack, so that's all going to have to get repaired. But uh, yeah, I can do that. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't have to buy a new tank. In other news, let's see. The rainy season is about to start. Uh, I'm not quite ready for it, but I'm getting ready. I got the original cover for this structure. Uh, the, the sun ate it, and it just ripped to shreds by touching it. It was like tissue paper. So, got an old tarp instead for now. And then to kind of cover the lawnmower, I have a bit of a lean-to rigged up. It's not going to survive the first windstorm, but I'll have to work on it some more later. Um, it's not supposed to be windy lately or in the near future. Just, um, just rainy. And it'd be nice to have this area a little bit dry. I might be able to come up, come out and tinker with it a bit if it's not too horrible. Uh, what else? Okay, so the more I look at the wiring diagram, the more I'm convinced that this red wire right here is a half-wave DC positive that goes to the battery, and the black wire is an alternating current that goes up to the switch through its own little connection, and down to the headlights and then to and then eventually to ground um oh i think i think i did that oops well anyway well it's been raining uh however the uh <laughs> Uh-oh, that smells like gas. Oh my, yeah, we got a leak. Got a leak over here. Well, the good news is, this one down here is perfectly good. No, no more leaks. I got that welded up with a uh, soldering iron. Got that welded up with a soldering iron, and I filled in the uh, empty spaces with some HDPE from the recycle bin. So, however, it looks like now there is a leak coming from the seam or something right in here. Oh, looks like there's a big old split right there. Okay, well, we're going to have to address that. Yeah, that is going to have to be addressed. I don't remember that split being there before, but gosh, I hope this isn't like the gas tank that keeps springing a leak every time you repair it. Might be worth 70 bucks to replace if that's going to be the, the case. But uh, anyway, so darn, I guess I will be doing more plastic welding. Yay! Okay. So brake linkage, there's a little spring here. This spring and this spring heads back the brake mechanism. So we're going to take that off. And I think in order to get the belt off, I have to get that pulley off, which is has a thing down underneath there. The brake is nice and seized right there, but there's the uh, 
the shifter. None of this should, I think, once all that peripheral stuff is these two bolts uh, and those two bolts will allow the chassis to lift right off the transmission. So well, that's what I'm going to do is attempt. <laughs> I think it might be easier to just take this little uh, cutter pin out rather than okay the uh, pulley is off the belt is loose the brake linkage is undone the four bolts are un unfortunately it's hanging up somewhere so I gotta figure out where I got it there was one extra bolt through that hole right there down in through this spacer into the thing there so make sure we don't lose that we can actually see it is a Tecumseh peerless transmission I've actually seen people doing things with those on, uh, on YouTube so get it all fixed up boy that's uh, that pulley is in rough shape But it turns, so that's good. I don't know if I can reuse it, but depends on how smooth I can get the the belt surface. Anyway, there we go. Well, the mower deck got pressure washed. Uh, the mower, the rest of the mower, got pressure washed. And the transmission got pressure washed. I have a little electric pressure washer. It's not much more powerful than, say, a um, regular hose nozzle. It's a bit, but nowhere, nothing like a, a gas-powered one. So, uh, got, the, got the big pulley off. Um, Yeah, I'm going to need a new one. So it came off in, oh, about five pieces or so. Um, but yeah, that's, that's toast. But uh, I got um, parts off of the two shafts. So I got some levers, leverage stuff off of the brake, which is seized. And I got the lever off of the shift mechanism which is also seized. So here's what I'm thinking. The differential is differentiating, right? So that means that that part isn't isn't is is okay. And the pulley shaft, the drive pulley shaft here, whatever that's actually called, is moving freely. So I'm guessing that is because it's in neutral. Um now the shaft won't actually rotate. Uh, I'm thinking that's because the brake is seized. So, so I'm thinking it's in neutral. This guy's working okay, being in neutral. These guys are okay. They're just not moving together because the brake is seized. So if I unseize the brake and I unseize the shift selector, then it... So... Um, I am going to take it apart anyway, just for fun, uh, to check all the innards, and I'm going to see, here's the rubber plug. This is supposed to have 80W90 oil in it. Uh, we'll see if it has anything, or if it's grease or whatever. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Anyway. So, but yeah, so I'm well on my way to getting this apart, and I'm looking forward to tinkering with that. Um, oh, I, oh, I put it away already, but I bought a, um, 
oh, what you call it, plastic, a plastic welder, and I went ahead and repaired the um, this side of the gas tank that was where the seam was splitting. So I got a little bit, a little bit extra to this side, and a little bit extra to that side. I didn't have to add anything because it's got this extra lip on both sides so there was tons of extra material to use so I just used that um, so it is all it is all uh, sealed up my original repair is holding and uh, the vent ca the cap vent is venting so yeah unless uh, this thing splits some more <laughs> I think it's good to go. Ah, so that is it for today. I think I'm going to have this be the end of the next video installment. Uh, it's kind of a teaser, you know, tune in next time to see the transmission actually opened. Uh, but for now, I think I will finish up this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.